Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Mr. Hussain and uh, in this video we'll be looking at simplification part 2. Alright, welcome great 12s. Okay, so before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Let's get to it. Alright, in part 2, I want us to look at the type of questions that are most brought. So in these, or these type of questions, there will be expansion mixed together with what? Addition and subtraction. So now, what I want you to understand is this. When it comes to multiplication, if I say 2 times 1, the answer is 2. But if I say 2 times negative 1, the answer is negative 2. And if I say negative 1 times 2, the answer is still negative 2. Then again, negative 1 times negative 2 will be positive what? 2. So basically, what I'm trying to say from this is that your answer will always be negative provided that you're multiplying if and only if there's only one negative. So 2 times 1, we don't really have one negative, so it's positive. 2 times negative 1, we have one negative, so our answer is what? Negative. Negative 1 times 2, we have one negative, so the answer is negative. Negative 1 times negative 2, we don't really have one negative, we have two, so it's going to be positive. So when it comes to expanding, it's basically multiplying. Now, if I multiply Mary times Jane, I get Mary Jane. Mary times Jane, I get Mary Jane. Kitwe times Lusaka, it's Kitwe Lusaka. Similarly, if someone says 2 times A, this will give you what? 2A. So, every time you have something like, say, A, open brackets, let me not say A, let me say 2, open brackets, A, minus B, plus C. Now, basically, this 2 multiplies everything within the brackets. These years are called brackets, but in actual sense, they are known as parentheses. So, you open a parenthesis and you close a parenthesis. So, the number that is outside the brackets is the one that multiplies everything within the water brackets. So whatever is just before that particular bracket you're wanting to expand is the one that's going to expand everything inside. So 2 times a is simply 2a. 2 times negative b is negative 2 what? b. 2 times c is simply what? Positive 2c. a and b are not the same. So that's the answer. So if you have something like 2a times b minus c plus d and you want to multiply, this multiplies everything inside. So the 2a multiplies b to get that negative c and d. If you multiply 2a times b, you get 2ab. You can't really say 2ba because a comes first in the alphabet. And if you multiply 2a times c, you simply just get a minus 2a or two c. Because a comes first, then c follows next. Then 2a times d, you get plus 2a or two d. Now basically, if one had to put times 2da, it's still correct because um, when it comes to multiplication, a times d is a d, d times a is the same as a d. A d. This rule is obeyed. Now, whenever I'm multiplying, uh, say 2a times a plus b, when this 2a multiplies a, then b, the time it's multiplying a, since it's like having a uh, key to a times what? Key to a. This would be what? Key to squared, and not really two key to a, to be wrong. So same thing, if you have 2a times a, you end up having 2a what? squared. 2a times b will give you what? Positive 2a what? b. Don't forget this very important point. So, just one last time. Say you have 2x times x plus x squared. Remember, x and x squared are not the same. That's the reason why they're able to be put in the brackets like the way they are. So I can multiply this by that and that. So all you have to do is to add the powers that are present on the x terms. So 2x times x will give you 2x what? Squared. 2x times x squared will give you plus 2x what? Cubed. x squared and x cubed are not the same. So it's your final what? answer. So when it comes to multiplication, be mindful of this rule. So you can have as many crazy things as they can give. Sometimes they can give you 3ab multiplying xy plus ab like that. So this can multiply that as well as that. 3ab times xy is 3abxy. 3ab times ab, that is plus 3a squared b squared don't forget this so remember these rules these rules are very very cardinal very very important to you to know sometimes you might have 2 multiplying minus 4a plus maybe 3 what b remember this will just multiply this and what 
that. Don't forget that. So two times minus four a that will give you a negative what? Eight a two times three b plus what? Six b a and b are not the same, so it's the final what? Answer. Don't forget that. So always remember that these things are very cardinal. So let's look at some examples to clearly what? Understand. So example number one. Say we've been taught to what? Simplify. So if we're taught to simplify, say we have two open brackets, 4a plus what? 3b. Then plus 4 open brackets minus 3a minus 2 what? B. Remember, what will actually expand this bracket is whatever that is before this bracket. So in this bracket, what's before it is what? It's the 2. So the 2 multiplies everything inside. It first multiplies 4a, 2 times 4a, that is 8a. 2 times 3b, that is plus 6b. Once you're done with this bracket, go to the other one. What we expand this bracket is a positive 4. The positive 4 multiplies the minus 3a and the minus 2b. 4 times negative 3a is going to be negative 2 what? a. 4 times negative 2b is going to be negative 8 what? b. At this point, all you have to do is to apply what we were applying in the previous video. So let's collect the like terms. So we get 8a minus 12a plus 6b minus 8b. So now, 8a minus 12a, you will basically end up 18 what? minus 4 so you get a minus 4a 6b minus 8b you get minus 2b now a and b are not the same so this is your final answer let's not forget let's move on say you have minus 4 open brackets x minus y plus 3 open brackets 2x plus 4y so in this bracket minus 4 multiplies this to get a minus 4x minus 4 multiplies that to get a plus 4y now this we will expand the other bracket so it multiplies that to get a plus 6x by that to get a plus 12 what y then you collect like terms so you have minus 4x plus 6x plus 4y plus 12 what y now minus 4x plus 6x that will give you what 2x plus 4y plus 12y will give you plus what 16 what y and this will basically be your final answer answer so when it comes to expansion it's basically up to you to understand what is before a bracket Sometimes you might end up having something as weird as this. They might give you, let's say, minus 4y. Then they just put a sign in between. Then 7x uh, plus y. So what we expand this bracket is what's before it, which is the minus 2. So the minus 2 times 3a, that's minus 6a. Minus 2 by that, that is a plus 8y. Then for this bracket, what's before it is a minus. So minus multiplies everything. Minus times 7x is a minus 7x minus times y that's a minus y you collect like terms so you have minus 6a do you really have any other a you don't you go to a different letter plus 8y do you have any other y you have this one so minus y minus 7x because x doesn't really have a companion so i have minus 6a now here you have an 8y minus y this gives you positive 7y minus 7x a y and x are not the same so basically this becomes your final answer, answer. At times, you might also end up having not this, but something that is a bit similar. You might end up having, let's say, minus 4x, and you put plus, open brackets, 3x minus 7, 1, and you put the minus there. Then get minus 7a plus b, uh, then they say plus 7, what? Y. So basically what we'll do is the same. What we expand this is what is before it. So what is before this is actually positive. The positive is the one that multiplies this. This, on the other hand, just drops down. So you have a minus 4x, positive times minus 3x, that is a minus 3x. Positive times minus 7y, that's a minus 7y. Now this minus multiplies everything inside. So you get minus times 7a, that's 7a. Minus times b, that's minus b. Then this guy here will just drop down. So you get plus 7y. At this point, all you have to do is to collect the like terms. So x with x, so you have minus 4x, minus 3x, y with y, you have minus 7y plus 7y. A with A, so you have minus 7A, just that. B with B, so you only have minus B. Minus 4X, minus 3X, that's minus 7X. Now here you end up having a zero because different signs subtract. So if you subtract minus 7Y plus 7Y, you get a zero. So zero can be plus or minus, so I'll make it plus, so plus zero. Now seven, minus 7A seven doesn't really have a companion, so I just let it be like that, so I push it down, minus 7A. Minus B also doesn't really have a companion, so I push it down. So minus b. So now I can polish this up if I want it to be my final answer or I can remove the zero. Therefore say I have minus 7x 
minus 7a minus b. And this will be my final answer. Alright, at times, we might have something like, uh, say, you have 2x, open bracket is 3x plus y. Then you get a minus, it's a plus for x, open bracket, I get y, x plus 3y. So remember, this multiplies that and that. So 2x times 3x, that is 6x squared. 2x times y, that gives you uh, a 2xy. This multiplies that, you get a plus 4x squared. 10 times that, it gives you a plus 12x what? Y. This point, you collect the like terms, you get 6x squared. Together with 4x squared, you get plus 2xy. Together with 12xy. Now 6 plus 4 is 10. x squared, 2 plus 12 is 14xy. x squared and x, x squared and xy are not the same. So this is our final answer. All right, let's look at another one. Say you have a open bracket seven minus b minus two minus two plus seven open brackets three a plus b. So I know most of you would want to add the middle, but don't. So this multiplies this first to get seven a. This multiplies that to get a minus a b. Now the two will just drop down. So you get a minus 2, and this expands that. So you get a plus uh, 21a plus 7 what? B. Then you collect like terms. So a, a with A, so you got 7A plus 21 what? A. B with B. So you only have one B, so you got plus B. Then you get the minus, you get minus AB. Then you get the number 2, just like that. So A is with A is. So this will give you 28A. Uh, you end up having a plus 7b minus a b minus 2 and this basically be your final answer so don't forget that's how it actually works always start with the brackets okay so the last example will be like this minus x squared minus y minus x squared minus y this multiplies that and you get a minus x squared multiplies that you get a plus y this multiplies that, you get a minus x squared, again multiplies that, you get a plus y. Collect like terms, you get a minus x squared, minus x squared, plus y, plus y. Here you end up getting a minus 2x squared, here you end up getting a plus 2y, and this will be your final answer. Alright, thanks for watching. My name is Mr. Hussein Wasapi. If you have questions, reach me on WhatsApp on the number that is attached to the screen. Or the number I'll put in my description. Remember to strategize before it becomes statistic, and it's why I'm push for that distinction.